Hi everyone, I'm about to make some stat earrings out of rhinestones and I figured I might as well just grab my camera and show you how I do it. The first thing I'm going to be using is one ear pasts. The thing is that this one has all this kind of disc around it and basically all I need is this one, this part. So if you have the same problem, I'm going to show you how to remove it. And I'm sorry for my nasty looking nails there. I have a kind of an issue right now your scissors like so and then just cut in that part of the excess push it just as much as you can it's like cutting paper but a bit harder and then the other side as well and once you have this you're just going to go like grab it from one side I'm gonna remove this part and just start kind of losing at this part Moving it to pretty much all the sides, all the places, and then we're just going to remove it like that. I'm going to just take it with this, like this, like that, like so. One of my rhinestones to be out right now. So here I have my ear pasts and my pliers. I'm just going to add some glue here. And I'm choosing a glue that works for jewelry and such. Don't choose just any glue because that's not going to work. Here I have my rhinestone and I'm just going to place it on the top. Like so. Arrange it if you need to. And I tell I'll show you, I'm going to be making some silver ones. And for that I'm choosing silver rhinestones. And I'm going to be making as well some gold ones. And for that I'm choosing kind of a yellowish rhinestones. I want some like turquoise so for those I'm choosing this blue then I feel like I need some red in there oh and I decided I'm going to go for a green because I like green and just so you know for all this I'm going to be doing pretty much the same first spraying with the ear post adding some glue placing the rhinestone Turn this upside down, then just apply your glue onto your ear post and then go directly and this way you're going to be able to see if you're actually centered or sort of. I have my block of foam and I'm just going to place it in here with the other one and this is going to help it like dry easier and just and dry in the right direction so I'm just going to leave it here overnight or maybe 24 hours. It pretty much depends on the glue you're working with. This one dries pretty fast, it says like it's like instant. Since I'm actually going to be wearing this next to my skin, I prefer to give it some time for it to dry. Okay, so now we're going to be painting them. I'm going to be using nail polish for that. For my silver, I'm going to be using Pure Eyes Silver Star. Placing your earring on top of like the bottle itself. Kind of dragging a bunch in there. So let it fall with your polish. And then remove the excess. You're just kind of again painting, but you're just kind of adding a bit more of that paint on top. This way it looks better, I think, because it looks more like a like a stud piece rather than just a painted rhinestone. So you can see what I'm what I'm talking about. For my red, I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Color Show. Keep up the flame. I'm going to be doing the same thing pretty much. For the gold one, I'm going to be using this Shiner Glaze Rare and Radiant. And in this case, I'm using Shiner Glaze for Audrey. And for my red, I'm using Shiner Glaze. And this is the name of it. I never know how to pronounce it, but that's it. For the black one, I'm going to be using this nail polish called Blackout by Sally Hansen. I'm going to grab it with my pliers and do the same thing that I did before, like that in there. I made two pairs of black earrings, one pair is going to be just black and for the other one I'm going to be using this Nina Ultra Pro. So I'm just going to let everything dry for another probably 24 hours. And once my first coat is dry I'm going in to the same coat. So I tell to show you how everything looks right here. As you can see, the more you go with that nail polish and the more you shape it, the more they are going to turn into stats. For instance, these ones look amazing and I just love, I can't get over how cute these are. I like them all. 
So I'm just going to let them dry. And once everything is dry, I usually go ahead and I do this kind of on every single earring that I make. I try to clean it with some alcohol and some cotton because I did use some pliers and I did work with some foam block. So because I'm going to be actually be wearing these earrings just as a prevention. And once that's set, we have a bunch of new stud earrings now. I'm kind of obsessed with these ones right now because they come in handy, they are super tiny. This is just great for beginners, they add something special to your outfit without making it like super overwhelming. So if you like them, don't forget to give them a try and give this video a thumbs up and share it of course. I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. So I'll talk to you in the next video and take care. Thank you for watching guys.